Hi, Vital Juice readers. My name is Stephanie Levinson, and I'm a group fitness instructor at the Reebok Sports Club New York and the Sports Club LA. I'm also the co-creator of Aspen Ascent, which is a great new ski and snowboarding conditioning workout offered at our clubs all across the country. You're going to get lots of work on your core, you're going to get strength, you're going to build up your cardiovascular capacity, you're also going to build up your agility and your speed, which is so critical in skiing. And then finally, at the end of class, we work on our flexibility, which is also very important when you're skiing. This class is an amazing workout. It's a very high calorie burner, even if you never plan on hitting the slopes. I'm going to show you a move or two from each one of our sections. The first thing we do is we go through a very active, thorough, dynamic warm-up to really warm up the body and really get the body prepared for the work to come. Just like you would do before you go out on the slopes, you really want to kind of get your body warmed up so we decrease injuries. So we start off with a really dynamic warm-up, lots of big body movements, and then we go into the first section, which is high-intensity cardio intervals. So the first section, we go through seven to nine cycles of 30 seconds of high intensity work where you're really, really pushing the cardiovascular capacity to its max, and then you do a minute of active recovery to kind of bring that heart rate still elevated, but a little bit down. So we're gonna start with a couple of um, examples of some exercises that we do. The first one we do, we jump forward, we jump back, and we jump up, really mimicking some of the explosive movements you feel when you're skiing. So forward, back, and up. Forward, back, and up. You do this for 30 seconds, and then we're going to finish with one minute of active recovery, going right into the next cardiovascular uh, drill. Another one we do is a lateral movement, where you're going as fast as you can to really mimic what it would feel like to be going top speed down the mountain. After you've finished all the cardiovascular work in section one, section two is all about strength and balance. Now we all know when you're going down the mountain and you're really digging into an inside edge, balance is very important because skiing and snowboarding is a sport where you really need to count on your unilateral or your one leg balance. So what we use in class is a gliding disc. Now if you don't have a gliding disc at home, you're welcome to use just a towel if you're on a wood floor. If you're working out on a carpet, a paper plate works great. So what we do is we get down into a skier's position, mimicking holding poles out here, and we slide our foot out and in, out and in, having all of your weight on your stabilizing leg. So it's really a single leg work. We do out and in for 15 times, and then we make a circular motion all the way. And this is really going to enhance your core strength, your quad strength, your glute strength, and your balance. You do this on each leg, then you switch to the other leg, 15 times to the side, 15 circles, and then repeat. You can repeat this two or three times depending on how strong your legs feel and as you get more advanced, you can increase the repetitions up to 20. Another exercise we do, we call it the mogul, to kind of imitate how you would feel going downhill on a mogul run. You start in a nice skier squat, bring your, swing your hips over to the side, and then middle, and side, and middle, and side, and middle, and side, and middle. This way, you're working your arms, you're working your glutes, you're working your hips, all those muscles that are so important to skiing. Once you've gone through all your strength work, we come down to the last section, which is our core and flexibility. Again, using the sliding disc, you can work your abs, and as well as your hamstrings. You come all the way down, hands behind your head, do a crunch up and a crunch down. Crunch up and crunch down. And what I love about using the gliding disc is not only are you working your abdominals harder, but you're also getting into your hamstrings, which are very important for skiing. So squeeze in and squeeze out. I would try to do that for about 30 seconds and then move on to another exercise and go back again. Another exercise that we do a lot of in class is a plank. Coming down on your elbows, planks are really good at that core stability, really giving you nice stabilization through your core. 
We do a series where we come up to our hands and then back to your elbows. And up to your hands and back to your elbows. And we repeat this about 12 times. Really tightening up your core, tightening up your glutes, keeping everything stable, keeping your hands right underneath your elbows. And what I like about this exercise is it really works on stabilization through your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulders, which is so important when you fall. You really need that upper body strength to help push you back up and get back up to your legs again. So thank you so much, Vital Juice readers. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the exercises from the Aspen Ascent class. If you'd like more information about Aspen Ascent or our clubs, please visit us at www.thesportsclubla.com. Or if you'd like more information about our partner, please visit www.aspensnomass.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.